Episode 1, Tips on Choosing a Retirement Destination After 10 years of almost non-stop traveling around the world, we decided we needed to find a place where we could settle down for at least a year, reevaluate our nomadic lifestyle, and frankly, rest. Before making a decision, we looked at the pros and cons of staying in the US and finally decided to make Mexico our home, since we enjoy the country's culture, people, and food. But where in Mexico? We made our five item wish list, did our research online, and talked to friends who had first hand knowledge of the area. The village of Ajijic on the shores of Lake Chapala in the state of Alisco was the winner. And here are the five key reasons we chose this delightful spot. Number one, the climate, the older we get, the more we dislike cold weather, as well as heat and humidity of Florida. Ajijic has been blessed with one of the best climates in the world. In fact, some say it's the second best climate in the world after Nairobi, Kenya. We're not sure if this is correct. However, Priscilla, who was born and raised in Kenya, agrees that the climate is very similar to those parts of Kenya that have the same elevation, 5,046 feet. One difference we found after arriving is that the winter temperatures are colder at night in Ahaheek, although it does warm up nicely during the day. In the month of December, the coldest temperature we experienced was 46 degrees. This is colder than we like, particularly since few houses have central heating. Our American lifestyle has made us soft. But the winter is short in Ahaheek. We understand that summer brings temperatures up to the high 80s, with May being the hottest month. The good news is that due to the elevation, humidity is low. Because of the climate, the area is blessed with incredibly beautiful flora. Flowering trees and shrubs abound. The roads are lined with jacaranda and flame trees. Bougainvillea of all colors create beautiful hedges. And the bird of paradise, hibiscus and poinsettia are among many plants that grace the gardens and patios. Conclusion. So far, the climate passes our test. Number two, cost of living. For the past 10 years, we've been spending time in countries like Vietnam, Thailand, and Bali, where we've stayed either in Airbnbs or small family-owned hotels, all at very reasonable prices. We love the food in Southeast Asia and relish eating freshly cooked, tasty food at street markets and stalls for very little money. Each time we returned to the States, we got sticker shock. So when we learned that it was possible for the two of us to live in Ahihig for around $2,000 a month, we decided that this checked off another of our wish list items. When we arrived, we found that due to the increased number of expats attracted to the area during the past two years, rental property prices had increased considerably and the $500 a month rental we were expecting was now closer to $800 a month. We were fortunate to find a two bedroom, two bath house within our price range, situated in a lovely garden in walking distance of street markets, supermarkets, coffee shops and restaurants. Several grocery stores cater to the expat community and you can expect to pay more for imported products. On the other hand, if you shop at local supermarkets or Walmart for the basics and at street markets for locally grown vegetables and fruits, you will keep the costs down and still enjoy excellent food. Conclusion. Although not as inexpensive as Southeast Asia, our cost of living will be well below that of the U.S. Number three, proximity to the U.S. Ahik is 641 miles from Laredo, Texas. 13 hour drive on a good toll road. This is a busy road with lots of truck traffic, so we don't recommend driving it in one day. The Las Palmas Hotel in the town of Matahuela is an excellent halfway stopover. We took six days to drive the 2,000 miles from Florida, stopping at Airbnbs along the way. However, you can also fly to Guadalajara Airport some 30 minutes from Ahaheek 
to several major cities from the U.S. at very reasonable prices. Conclusion. Having our own car here gives us the freedom we like, although with low bus and taxi fares, you can do without a car. Number four, a possible retirement location. It's a well-known fact that the financial crisis of 2008 changed the lives of many people, including us. We are now faced with the prospect of outliving our savings and relying on social security. For many people, it is not possible to do this in the US. The only recourse is to move to a place where one can enjoy a comfortable, inexpensive life. In Ahihik, a retiree can hire housekeeping and gardening staff at very reasonable rates, and when the time comes, choose among several high-quality assisted living or nursing home facilities. The medical care is excellent and inexpensive. Conclusion, Ahihik understands the needs of the retiree community. Number five, an established and vibrant expat community. Moving to a new country can be a little unnerving, especially if you don't speak the language. You'll have questions. How easy will it be to make friends? How will I know where to shop? Where to find an attorney? A doctor? A dentist? The tech savvy can do this online, but in Ahahik, there are social groups and clubs ready to welcome you. In particular, the Lake Chapala Society plays a major role in providing information and activities to help expats integrate into the community. We attended their seminar on introduction to lakeside living for newcomers, and we found it extremely helpful. This society offers a wide range of daily activities, from chair yoga to line dancing and tech class basics to a writer's group and community volunteer positions abound. Conclusion, there's no need to be lonely in Ahahik, unless you want to be. No place is perfect, but after two months in Ahahik, we are confident that we will find our wish list fulfilled. We will be reporting regularly on our experiences here, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So be sure to subscribe to keep up with our life in this magical place. Who knows, you might find it's the place you've been looking for too. Please subscribe.